o'clock right now which technically is six o'clock because of daylight savings i just wanted to set the goal this week to wake up a little bit earlier because i got a late start yesterday and it threw off my entire day so i put out this outfit last night just to set my morning up for success and it actually made a really big difference i'm wearing these 437 leggings and this top is from a brand i forget what it's called but i'll put it on the screen it's sustainable and really cute and a small business but i'm gonna go to the gym this morning but before i go i'm gonna stretch out and like roll out my legs because I've been super sore, so I'm excited. I can't wait to like listen to music, go to the gym, get a coffee. Welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, it's so dark right now in the parking structure, but I just finished up my workout. Can you guys see me? I had such a good leg day. I feel like also, I woke up at like five o'clock this morning and it's already been six hours since I woke up. I feel like the day just got away from me. Like I literally don't even know what I did today. I worked out, I ate breakfast, I vlogged. And I feel like the day just like got away from me. But I feel like anytime I film my workouts, which I did for TikTok, it just takes so much longer because I'll film the workout and then I go do it. And then I go like walk on the treadmill after stretch. I also sit in the sauna, so I feel like it just adds an extra, honestly, hour after my workout. So I'm going home right now. I'm gonna try and make new recipes today because I've been in a recipe rut lately, or like I'm the opposite of a recipe rut. I feel like I'm just really inspired. It's not that I like hate all the recipes I've been making, it's just like I'm inspired to make new recipes and recreate some of the recipes from like some of my favorite restaurants and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the goal for today. But I feel good, I'm happy. We're gonna go home, drink some water. I'm feeling a little bit dehydrated after staying in the sauna and I'm so hungry, so. I'll see you guys back at home. Oh wait, really quickly, I feel like I never even updated you guys on my headphone situation. If you guys have been following me, you know that I lost my headphones at the gym, like honestly, a month and a half ago. And it honestly made me not want to go to the gym for a while because I didn't have another pair of headphones. And I only like to listen to like over the ear headphones, not like AirPods. So I was in Arizona and my mom said that I could take hers for the time being. So I didn't buy new headphones. I really want to get the Apple ones, but every time I go to Apple, they only have like the pink and the blue and I just want either the black ones or the silver ones. So we're going to use these for now, which is fine because I'm definitely a Beats girl. So it doesn't bug me, but yeah, that's the update on the headphone situation. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make some breakfast, but I've been very careful not to show this in any of my videos until I felt I was comfortable to talk about it. I think with anything, it's important to try it out and see if it works for you and not just listen to what everybody says on the internet. But I will say, this product, I seriously love. I just grabbed my DSL-1 Daily Symbiotic. This is a pre and probiotic by the brand Seed. Seed is actually sponsoring today's video. You guys saw me take this this morning. I feel like you guys probably know this if you watch my videos, but I've always had a huge passion for gut health because it, correlates to so many other things in my life like my mental health, my stomach pains, my bloating, my bathroom situations and pretty much just taking this has helped me feel a relief in all those different areas and it's just something that has supported my gut health which really is important to me as you guys know. If you've never heard of this product by Seed, it's actually a two-in-one capsule which I really like. When it's a two-in-one capsule it means it's a capsule inside of another capsule that way it actually goes through your digestive system and makes it to your stomach. So it doesn't like get broken down by all the stomach acid and all of that before it actually hits your stomach. So I just wanted to share this with you guys if you wanted to check it out. I definitely recommend Seed. The brand is so nice. I actually took their little course just to learn more about their product before putting it into my body, which I highly recommend. You guys can go on their Instagram and look at all their highlights. It just has a bunch more information if you guys are interested. You guys can also use my code, which I'll put on the screen. It'll get you 15% off. I'll link this exact product down below so you guys can try it. Again, thank you Seed for sponsoring today's video. And let's cook some breakfast because I'm so hungry.
got ready for my day. We're gonna chat with Coco. One treat, one moment chat. One treat. Can't eat on my bed though. I feel like in the past like week and a half, I've done a lot of thinking. I listened to a lot of podcasts and I came to the realization that I feel like I lost sight of like my creative side, which is really hard when your job is creative. And I feel like a lot of people make it seem like social media is just like the best job in the world and it's just all rainbows and butterflies. But it's really hard when you lose that like creativity side, especially because I started on TikTok and I feel like TikTok out of any platform, you really have to be creative, at least for like the niche that I'm in. I feel like that's actually what I was really good at at the beginning. Like when I started my TikToks, I was super creative. I had ideas every day. I was posting. I found my niche. I had like the certain form of TikToks that I would always post. Like I would post make lunch with me, I would post make breakfast with me TikToks and I would do like day in the lives and I would do workouts with me and for some reason in the past year I've definitely lost sight of that creativity and not even creativity but like my style, like my go-to videos and like think about your guys' jobs like I'm sure that every single day that you go into work is pretty much the same as the day before you have routine with your jobs, you have familiarity and that's how I always was with my jobs in the past but now that I'm my own boss I feel like I try to like go out of the box sometimes, but then I like lose sight of myself. When this is how I started on social media and like that's my favorite thing to do. Like I was having so much fun creating it and then I'm like, why did I stop doing that? And it's just because I felt like it was repetitive and people didn't want to see it when truly that's just me. Like why was I trying to switch everything up when I didn't need to do that? Like I don't know, I just had this realization and I was like, what? Like I need to just get back to creating the content that I either started doing on social media or just like genuinely love creating not that I haven't loved creating in the past year especially on like TikTok but I just tried like new things and new formats and I don't know why so I think that's why I've just been like struggling in like the work aspect on TikTok but then it's funny because it's always like a give and take because then on YouTube and podcasting right now I'm like so inspired and I've had such a great year with those two things in 2022 and also 2023 so far so I haven't been like getting in my head at all that there's an area of my work that's been falling below because luckily for the career that I have, I've diversified on different platforms. So yeah, I just like put my energy into what feels good and I feel like I haven't put any energy into TikTok lately, which makes me sad because that's how I started and I love my TikTok girls and I love the community on there, especially because I'm so inspired for the spring and summer time. I feel like it's such a fresh new start. You guys know I love new starts. I love the beginning of the month, the beginning of the week, and the spring just feels like this really nice fresh start, especially with everything I just talked about. I just am inspired and I'm ready to create more content and just like, I don't know, just restart for the spring and the summertime. I'm gonna go though because Coco's about to bark. I put on my only green outfit that I have for St. Patty's Day. We actually do have St. Patty's Day plans tonight. We're gonna go to ARC, which I've never tried before and I'm really excited, so that's what we're doing. Guys, I'm out of breath because I just went through a spring cleaning hole. We did our couch. Well, we haven't finished, but we put all the cushions in the washing machine, did the floors, I did upstairs, Hunter did the dishes. Seriously out of breath right now. We actually have a pretty social weekend, so we were like, let's just clean today so we don't have to worry about it on Sunday or just like throw things and let it pile up throughout the weekend because we always like make the house super dirty when we're running in and out and in and out. So I felt like we had to clean so we just don't go crazy throughout the weekend. As I was cleaning though, I was realizing that we need a serious declutter one day next week because just going into spring, how I said, like I just want it to feel like a fresh start. I feel like I definitely have to declutter for that feeling. So maybe we'll like go to the container store and get some organizing things next week because I'm definitely wanting to declutter like especially we have this closet right here that we have like all of our dog stuff in and we pretty much just throw things <laughs> under. We pretty much just throw things in there and I want to organize that next week. Maybe go through and like Poshmark a bunch of my clothes. So we'll look forward to that for next week. But I think I'm gonna make a snack and a matcha. And I still have to clean the kitchen and the counters and stuff. And then we have dinner not till 8 p.m. tonight. So we're gonna take Coco to the dog park, get her energy out, which is my favorite part of the day because she's so cute. Then we take her and let her run. You think they'll have like a St. Patty's themed menu, like a green burger? Green eggs and ham? Probably. 
I would just have to get it just for the vibe. Oh, well that doesn't help me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys just heard Hunter, but he was saying how they might have green drinks and I was like, that doesn't really relate to me. And yesterday Rebecca at our lunch asked me how long it's been since I stopped drinking and I realized that it's almost been two years. Like not exactly, like it's been like a year and six months or something or like a year, I don't know. Maybe a year in like eight months. If I stopped in August, how many months in a year has it been? Since August, yeah. um, I think like eight months. Yeah, so a whole year and eight months, which is really close to two years. And I feel like I should do an entire YouTube video or maybe a podcast episode just explaining all the benefits. I feel like I've noticed not only with like my self-confidence, but my lifestyle and uh, just so many things I could talk about that I noticed a difference with without drinking. And it's honestly crazy because nothing negative has come from it. I did really enjoy drinking and I never felt anxious when I was drunk or anything like that. Like I feel like I always get questions, even in public, some people will be like, from my high school, what's the real reason you stopped drinking? Like, what can you not say on social media? And I'm like, there's literally nothing deeper than the fact that I hate hangovers and it doesn't correlate to the lifestyle that I like to live. Like when I wake up hungover, I feel really stressed and anxious. I feel tired, I feel nauseous. And I obviously pra practice balance in so many other ways and truly I have so much balance in my life. So I feel like this is the one thing I've really stuck to my, I guess I would say like moral almost for my life. And I don't ever judge people for drinking. Literally my own boyfriend drinks all the time, but yeah, it's just crazy that it's been two years. And I also don't think I'll never drink again. Like I feel like there's potential that I would be able to have it in a balanced way in my life and not feel like extreme hangovers or maybe if I found a wine that was super natural or something. But as of right now, I have not found anything that works or I've never even tried anything or looked into it. But I am really satisfied with just like the last year and eight months. It's crazy. Anyway, that was a random rampage, but let's make my matcha. I have to use like three different milks because all of them are pretty much out. Like, okay. Yay, this one has to. I'll link these cups down below. They're the same ones I got from Amazon. What are you doing? Like matcha? You wanna watch TV with mom? I'm watching Ari's season of Bachelor from like five years ago. I just got all the stuff out to make the salad that I want to recreate. I usually get this salad from Whole Foods. It's the brand Positive Food Co. And it's a goat cheese beet and chicken salad. And it's really simple, but for some reason I crave it like every day. So I'm going to make it and then make some leftovers so I can have it for throughout the week as like a little meal prep situation. So we have some chicken, some arugula, red onion, goat cheese, lemon, and then some cooked beets. <laughs> Okay, our couch cushions are laid out. I'm waiting for them to dry. Coco's stretching, she just woke up from her nap. Clean the gym, clean the upstairs. Even did all the bathroom, like countertops. Feeling really good before we go to dinner. I'm gonna get ready and you guys can help me pick out my St. Patrick's Day outfit. Okay, really going strong with the St. Patty's Day green, but this is my first outfit. This cute skirt is from Zara, if you guys remember from my Arizona vlog. I put on this belt from Princess Polly and then this white, yes, white, this black top that ties in the back, which is super cute. I don't know if I love that it's turtleneck and I'm wearing a long skirt, like it looks a little uniform-like. So this is outfit number one option. Option two, we kept the hat. I'm on this brandy cutoff tank. I'm wearing Hunter's oversized blazer and then I have these green leather pants, which are pretty casual because it's such a light green. I don't know, I thought they were cute. What do we think about this one? I could also just do jeans with this one. I could tuck my hair out. I don't know. This feels more me. But the other one's really cute. Okay, change back into option one. Hunter and I are getting ready. I'm just retouching my makeup because I did my makeup earlier today for something for work. And I feel like it just looks like really bad now. Babe, it's weird having you off earlier from work. Yeah, it does feel weird. Like, I feel like we never get to get ready together. Don't worry guys, he's wearing green, but his shirt is de-wrinkling. 
Yeah, I gotta wear a dirty shirt today. We're not even like trying to do the St. Patty's thing. It just happens that pretty much all of our new clothes are green. Like I think we yeah. just like that color right now. I've been wanting to get some green home decor pillows for our downstairs living room. We should look this week. For our couch? Yeah, I feel like that'd be really cute. <laughs> Which color green? This one or this one? Uh, like think one. of pillows though. Not yeah. just your favorite color. This is my favorite color. That one would be. For pillows? For pillows. I don't know, I kind of like the light one. I like the olive -y, but you like the forest green? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Dude, one day when we can actually like redo our house the way we want it, like we could do like green in the bathroom or something really cool. That would be cool, yeah. That would be so fun. Wait, I feel like I mentioned in the Santa Barbara vlog that we would like love to do a house reno. That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> We are not at that place yet. I feel like we were just like daydreaming for a while. Yeah. And then once we put the facts to the facts, we say before we check the facts. Yeah, that's true. I'm actually thinking about taking the rest of this weekend off of vlogging, even though I feel like this weekend is going to be really fun, but I just want to enjoy it. We have some friends coming into town, Lily and Andy, you guys know them. And we're going to Lauren and Keikoa's house to meet their baby tomorrow. And I just want to like fully be there. For that, I will bring my vlog camera just in case like the time is right and stuff to get some clips. But obviously this is the first time we're meeting their baby Zeke. So I want to like fully be there and like, I don't know. I know she wouldn't care. Like she obviously is a YouTuber and vlogs pretty much just as much of her life as I do if not more, I feel like I just need to enjoy it because it's so surreal. We've never had friends that have also become parents, so I feel like we just need to fully enjoy it because it's just crazy to us. So we'll see if I continue the vlog. I was gonna say final outfit check, but you're not wearing your thing. I'm in a walking outfit. I'm a big doggy. See how it goes. See how it goes. You are so cute. Let me see you. Oh, she went to give me love. Oh, <laughs> she's really cute. I want to take a picture. Hurry, <laughs> she's heavy. Sorry. Oh my god, you very don't worry. I don't know. Took a look. Look. You saw her? Look in this mirror. Hi, babies. Get another breath, babe. Get closer to the mirror. Take a look. 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 Come on, look at me. Okay, we're done. These are cute, actually. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that anymore. The behind the scenes of my Instagram story. Okay, I will actually see you at dinner now because I'm just procrastinating at this point. Chicken nugget meal. Can I please have a name? Hunter. Okay. For some reason, both Hunter and I are so hungry. Maybe because dinner's at 8 tonight, which is like really late. Then again, we usually eat dinner at 8, so I don't know what's up. He went on a walk and I worked out today, so we're pre gaming our dinner with Chick fil A and we got um, nuggets, french fries, and a lemonade, which I'm excited about. Are you excited? Mm hmm. I thought you were saying french fry for me, and I was like, oh, I don't want french fries, because we'll probably have french fries there. No, I think I want them. Nothing wrong with doubling up on the fries, but, oh, my phone's up there, I'm like looking for it. Kind of tired right now. I gotta wake up. I swear, I always get so tired, like when I watch my vlogs back on, like the nights before dinner, I'm always so tired. I, I just get like know. run down by the end of the day. I think most people do. Maybe. Let us know in the comments, do you get run down every single day? We definitely do. I definitely do. I feel like you do more than me because you fall asleep like that. I always like try and get you to wake up. Yeah. I'm always like, are you awake? Are your eyes open? He's like, yeah. And I was like, like you're just sleeping for 10 minutes. Every single time. But then there's some nights I wake up and you're like playing video games for three hours and I'm like. Depends on the day. Depends on the mood. I'm so freaking hungry. Also, you have to do this. If you're really hungry before a date night and a double date, I don't even think I mentioned what we're doing. We're going on a double date. With JC and Leigh. And you don't want to be grumpy. You know me when I'm hungry. I'm eating the fries when you said that's what you wanted. 